Hey babe, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you have not been here before, my name is Tony. So today I am giving you my updated makeup routine. This is giving everyday soft glam face and I have been loving my face like this here recently because I haven't been wearing as much makeup. So I wanted to give you my updated soft glam routine, which is very simple and easy to do. So if you wanna see how I got this look going on today, then keep on watching. a makeup tutorial in a while and I wanted to just sit down and get back to my roots on why I started everything in the first place so today I'm going to give you my updated makeup routine which is very easy peasy it's very simple it's very natural okay because one thing that I have not been doing is wearing a whole whole lot of makeup I've kind of been leaning more towards just the everyday soft glam so that's what we are going to go ahead and do as you can see, I've already put my brows on and I will go ahead and insert some footage. So on my brows, I keep it very simple. One thing that I was doing, I'm gonna touch a little bit more in a little bit, but one thing that I was doing when I first started out with doing makeup is I found myself doing my makeup like everybody else, meaning that my brows look the same, my contour look the same, everything was the same. But what I want you to realize about when you do your makeup is that you have your own bone structure, you have your own face, you have your own different unique kind of brows. Your look is different from everybody else's. My brows are a whole lot fuller. Everybody else doesn't wear their brows the same. Some people feel them in a lot heavier or darker for that full glam look. While as for me, my brows are already thicker so I don't need to go in with a whole lot of color and shaping and things like that because I already have fuller brows. So I will go over some of my tips on my updated makeup routine that I feel like everybody should have when it comes to doing your own makeup. So again, like I said, we kept the brows very, very simple today. I didn't wanna do much at all, just filled them in with a little bit of color. And I do use the, let's see, the Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I'll put all of this in the description box below. But I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil and then I use this Live Tinted brow gel in order to really give my brows that laminate look and i do have a review on this if you have not already to go to the flip app which is a makeup review app it's a really dope app follow me on there tony ray let's work and you can see all of my reviews that i do on some of these products because i will have more coming but anyway the lip tinted brow gel was definitely a1 Okay, and it definitely, I feel like gave me that laminate look that I was looking for on my brows. So to get started, I usually like my gel type of primer, but we're gonna go in with the NARS, and I'm so sorry, y'all. Some of my packaging is real dirty right now. Like, y'all see this big old foundation stain? Yeah, anyway, we're using the NARS, and this is the um, Radiance Primer. So I'm just going in with just a little bit as the base. And then we'll go ahead and jump in with the rest of the face. So I have absolutely been loving the single layer makeup application. I feel like overall it is just way faster and you're not gonna use as much product consumption because you are putting on less layers than what you would the normal makeup application. So I'm going to do that single layer application today. I'm gonna to go in, this is my NARS and this is the Soft Matte uh, Creamy Concealer. And again, I told you I got just stains all over this product packaging. it's cool. This is in the color Walnut. So I'm first gonna start with doing my concealer under my eyes, a little bit down the bridge of my nose, forehead, and then chin area, and then we'll go in and fill in everything else and go from there. <laughs> so with the single layer application, again, you wanna focus more on just putting certain products in certain areas. So for my concealer, I always, again, just do that right under the eye. And I do kind of bring my concealer down some right almost close to the sides of my nose. I don't know if you can tell, but I have really like heavy bags on the bottom under eye. And in order to kind of hide that baggage, I bring my concealer down just a little bit and it kind of like shades it out to where you can't see that heavy bag anymore. And I'll show you obviously when I get done doing my makeup, but that's why I kind of bring my concealer down. I know like the trends now, 
is that you put like a little here, a little there, and you know, kind of keep it minimal, which is excellent. But again, you have to know your face. You have to know what kind of application you need to do with your makeup in order to conceal certain areas the best. Going to again, go down the bridge of my nose. Just throw a little bit right there. And then on my chin, I'm not doing too much because again, this is a super lightweight face. So I don't need to do a whole bunch of product and all the extra stuff. We don't gotta do all that, okay? So next, I always go in with my bronzer and this is my Laguna number no. four. This is also, ooh, upside down, upside down again. There we go. This is my uh, NARS Laguna, um, bronzer and i'm using this bronzer this is a cream based bronzer and i absolutely love this bronzer most of the time i don't even um like contour with a darker color other than this because this goes on so like look at this i barely put anything and you can see it's a nice deep shade so that's going to give me a super nice contour without necessarily contouring so I always do my bronzer next because I feel like once I know where my bronzer is and where it's going to be placed that I can make sure that I'm putting foundation in small gaps and not having to put too much foundation on. So I put that there and then I'm going to do just a little bit along the jawline and then just do a couple little dots right there on my forehead so that I can get all of that blended out. And then after going in with my bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. So I guess apparently I'm using all NARS products today. Who'd have thunk? <laughs> anyway, this is my NARS Soft Matte Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. It's in the color Caracas. And I love it so much because it is super lightweight. And again, since I'm kind of entering like, I don't necessarily want to call it the soft girl era or nothing like that, but I'm kind of entering into a phase where I just don't really like to wear as much makeup. I, uh, I'm very comfortable with, you know, just wearing the bare minimum. It don't have to be much at all in my book, not at all. So I love this soft matte complete, complete. <laughs> if I could talk, I'm trying, I'm talking way too fast. Let me slow down. Let me slow down a little bit. But I absolutely love this one because it gives a super nice like blend on the skin. It's not cakey. It doesn't give like too much shine. I feel like it's the perfect balance between matte and a regular foundation. Even though it is a matte product, I feel like it definitely gives a really nice balance in between the two. And um, it goes on smoothly. I just hiccuped, I'm sorry. It goes on smoothly on top of the skin. So we're just going to fill this in right in between the two areas where that bronzer is. And like I said, doing it with this method, you don't have to worry about putting on too much makeup application or product. It's really only in that concentrated area on each side. So we're gonna work that there. And then I'm gonna go back and put just a little bit like right in this little arch around my um, mouth, the top of my lip, and kind of downward, just so we can have, you know, a really nice blend right there around the mouth and um, as it blends upward into that concealer. And then actually I'm gonna put just a tad bit more because there's one more area that I wanna put this at. If you do a little dot kind of like right there on the outside of the eye and then just right there above where you put that concealer at on your forehead again that's just going to make sure that everything blends upward nicely um i don't know if you know i'm sure you do by now but when it comes to makeup baby the only thing that matters the only thing <laughs> that matters is that you blend it out if you feel like you blend it enough but you kind of sitting there like, well, maybe I could have blended a little more. Go ahead and blend a little more, okay? Go ahead and blend a little more because you don't want to be walking around and I have definitely done it. You don't want to be walking around with a face that's half blended. It just don't look good. <laughs> Digress. <laughs> Let's go ahead. I didn't even show y'all what this is. See, I'm running my mouth and I'm forgetting to stop and talk and tell y'all what I'm using. This is the Air Matte Blush. Do y'all see how pretty this is first of all it's kind of creamier base this is not your typical um 
blush where you just kind of rub it on. This is a creamier and thicker consistency um, blush, but I absolutely love it. Like, do y'all see? It is highly, highly pigmented. It has that really nice rosy pink color, which looks good on my skin tone. What I'm doing is I'm putting that blush right on top of where that bronzer is. So as you can see, my face is kind of layered out. And that's what you want when you're doing the single layer makeup application, because this is kind of your diagram to see, okay, these are where all these colors are gonna blend at and I don't have to, you know, have any spots that are missing with product. So you've got your concealer, you've got the blush, you've got the bronzer, you've got the foundation, and then you got bronzer again. So as you can see, when I blend all of this out, this is going to blend in all of the same places that you regularly would when you do a full face makeup application. So I've got everything in place and one of the other key tips that you want is to make sure that everything is nice and moist which is good because this is cream based products but in order to like really loosen everything up so we can move it around we're just going to go ahead and throw a little setting spray on there so this is my urban decay all-nighter spray and y'all know this is og in the makeup industry but i'm just going to go ahead and spray a little bit of this So as you can see, everything is nice and moist. And then we're gonna go ahead and blend this thing down. blending out with doing the blending on the inside corner of my eye with my concealer next I'm not gonna go directly in order and here's why because I want to make sure that my bronzer is not blended downward and I want to make sure that it doesn't disappear within this foundation so what I'm doing is I'm taking my brush and I am kind of pushing that bronzer upward that way I can see where my definition is with that slight contour that I'm trying to achieve and then that way when I blend out my foundation I know not to move too far up and I can keep everything in its place and we are going to add a little bit of powder at the end just to make sure that everything is kind of like chiseled out just a little bit we don't want to chisel too much but we will chisel it out just a little bit so again I'm just taking this bronzer and I'm kind of moving on the jawline I'm moving downward and upward that way I can get a nice seamless blend between where my foundation stops and then going into my neck to kind of blend everything out and then kind of bringing that downward into the chin and pushing that downward so as you can see although we haven't blended out all the way you see everything it's still in place. So where that foundation is, it's still in place. Where that bronzer was at the bottom, everything is still in place. Now I'm going in with the same brush that I used to put on my blush and I'm kind of just going back and forth. I'm not pulling it down too hard and I'm not applying too much pressure, but I'm just kind of lightly blending up into my temple area with that blush. And as you can see, it's still staying in the same place. So no movement there, which is exactly what we wanted. And then if you want to get the definition with your concealer and like bringing that up a little bit more, you can always go back with your same concealer sponge or brush or whatever one you're using. And then just kind of lightly tap in that area between where your blush is and where your concealer is that way everything is nice and blended. If you didn't notice, I didn't put concealer all over my nose. I did do it like to the side of when I was putting on under my eye and then I went down the bridge of my nose. But once you blend it down, it does give a little bit of complete coverage around the nose. So you don't have to worry about going back in with foundation on your nose unless you you know, prefer it that way. Um, but you can always go back and do your sculpting with your bronzer, which you're going to do here in just a minute. But before I start blending out my forehead area, I am going to go back with just a little bit more concealer. And I always do this because I want to blend out my concealer fresh right before I put my setting powder on. So I'm going to go back and just do just a little bit more right there in the corner. I don't necessarily have to bring it down as far as I did the first time, but this is going to help me hide my bags under my eye 
so that everything is nice and seamlessly blended. And I have that really smooth under eye without all the additional creases. tip here because I struggled with this so bad. Baby, you want to make sure that that forehead is blended, okay? There have been plenty of times where I look back on my pictures and I was like, oh my gosh, my forehead was not blended out all the way, all the way, all the way. Slow down. Slow down, girl. Just slow down all the way so definitely make sure so you saw I took my sponge and I kind of blended out that foundation that I put just in that little arch above my concealer now I'm just going back with the same brush that I applied that bronzer with and I'm kind of just taking it right there where that line of demarcation is which is definitely not what we want and I'm going to just kind of move it backwards that way it can start to really blend upward into the darker shades that are around my perimeter of my hairline all right now that we have everything blended out on the face i'm going to go ahead blend out these concealer areas under my eye and then i'm going to go directly in with my setting powder so it's no surprise here i am going in with my honey translucent if i can get the camera to focus that's about good that's as good as we're gonna get it y'all <laughs> but i'm going in with my honey translucent powder by laura mercier and i'm going to make sure that i have that open and ready to go along with my sponge that i use for my setting powder that way as soon as i blend out that concealer i can immediately go in with that powder set it and it can be nice and set with no lines under my eye I've taken my beauty blender sponge and I have really focused that area where that additional concealer was put right there in those creases under my eye and then again I'm going to immediately go in with my setting powder dab it in there real nice dust it off on the end also pat it on the back of my hand and then go in right under that eye I highly, highly always suggest you go in with small amounts of powder at a time because if you put too much powder, you definitely will get that cakey look right under your eye and that is definitely not what you want. Trust me, honey, I done did it and it ain't cute. So this is what I'm saying. You see this side, you don't see that baggage under my eye like you still can on this side and you don't see those additional creases as much either. So that's the important reason of why you wanna make sure that you have that powder ready to go once you set. That way everything is nice and set and you have those creases set as well. And this is also a benefit to doing the single layer makeup look because you don't have all of that additional foundation built up under there. So you don't have a lot of product buildup that would allow that makeup makeup um, to start getting cakey under your eye. So we're gonna go ahead and finish blending this out. I'm gonna put just a pinch more powder, not too, too much. And I'm really gonna focus it in around my nose as well. Again, me pulling my concealer down and around my nose to me. This is my personal pr opinion and this works for me, but it helps to hide that baggage that is under my eye to give me that nice like really um no crease type look I don't, I don't know how else to explain that we don't have no creases okay but i am gonna go in with just a little more powder so i can make sure that everything is nice and set and then i'm also going to go ahead and powder the bridge of my nose and the highlighted area on my chin and forehead that i did earlier with my concealer all right, to get all of that additional powder off that I've kind of blended onto my face, I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush and just kind of dust it. That way I can kind of blend everything back down. And I'm gonna go in with a powdered bronzer right on top anyway, just to kind of really give me that warmth around my face that I need because I do have on like, I won't necessarily say lighter colors because these are all, <laughs> I'm sorry. My monitor just went out and I'm like, wait a minute. I hope my camera didn't cut off. Hold on, let me change my monitor real quick. I probably looked like a deer in headlights cause I was like, wait a minute, everything just went black. Anyway, there's a couple more things that we're gonna do before we wrap up the face. So 
We're gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer. Like I said, I take my bronzer on top of the cream bronzer just to make sure that everything is nice and warm and that my face has a good blend to it. So just take that bronzer again, right in those same places that you did the cream bronzer. And on top of that, since we just went in with powder, we wanna make sure that that powder is blended from here and then going down into that warmth of the bronzer. Don't forget when you have your bronzer out, you can take your powder bronzer or your cream bronzer, whichever your choice. And don't forget to sculpt out your nose and do your contour, uh, contour if you choose to. So I'm just gonna take a super flat and angled brush, dip into that bronzer, and then I'm just gonna draw my lines right there going down on the side. And then the other side, I'm gonna kind of bring the two into a point on my nose. So as you can see, I kind of got like a V shape going on on my nose. Once I have that in place, then I'm gonna take a smaller, like denser brush. I'm going to blend out where I've placed my bronzer at. Now, here's the thing. I'm doing a very, very soft look. This is an everyday face for me. So I'm not going to go in and like chisel out my nose a, a whole, whole bunch. I'm just throwing in the bronzer just to give it a little bit of definition and do a slight, like, I, I guess I would call it more of a defining type thing for the nose necessarily, uh, or excuse me, more than I would call it a contour. But again, I'm just taking a little bit of bronzer I'm blending that upward into that bottom line on my brow and same on the other side. That way you get like that nice look to go from, you know, the brows inward into the nose on your slight, slightly defined contour. I guess we'll go with that. <laughs> but I'm just kind of blending downward and then brushing out. That way I don't have, again, the, deep, the lines of demarcation. That is not what we want. We want everything to be blended seamlessly. And you know, if you choose to, you can always go back in with a little bit of that excess powder that's on your sponge and kind of like redefine everything out. That way, if you want that really nice glow um, from the powder or like you want your nose to appear lighter, you can always put a little bit more powder in that area. So I've got my powder. I've got my bronzer and everything in place. I'm gonna chisel out my cheeks just a little bit and I'm gonna do that by using my um, other powder here, which is my Fenty Beauty, which I have not used this in a while. But I'm just gonna dip into that just a little bit, brush off the excess, cause we don't need a whole, whole lot. Right where I put that foundation at, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of dust a light line right under where that bronzer is just like that. And then go ahead and blend it out. That was probably way too much powder, but we're gonna make it work. I didn't put anything on my eyes, but I don't wanna use any kind of eyeshadows or anything like that today. I just wanna give it a little bit of definition. So here is when the bronzer can come in handy as being a double action type of product and we can use it for eyeshadow as well. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that bronzer really and truly towards the back end of my eye. I don't necessarily need to focus it all over, but we just wanna give a little bit of extra definition on the eye so it can kind of have just slightly a darker appearance and look like eyeshadow without necessarily having on eyeshadow. The only thing we're missing is a little bit of highlighter. So I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty. I absolutely love this highlighter palette. This is the Mean Money and Hustla Baby palette. Again, my products, I, I need to like do some cleaning or something, but do y'all see, first of all, this one here, and I'm ashy than a big dog. Don't pay attention to my hands. Anyway, this color on this side, baby, like I'm gonna just take a little bit on my finger. Like, do y'all see? Y'all see how gorgeous that is? I'll put it on the back of my hand just so you can see, like that is gorgeous. And that was only me putting on a little bit. So I'm just going to take a little bit and dust that right over my lip. I don't have to have a brush to do it. I really just put a little bit right there on the top of my lip. I am ashy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm gonna take a little bit of a brush here and just kind of wipe down the bridge of my nose and get it nice and highlighted and then take a finger and kind of just blend it in 
that way you don't have like a super noticeable stripe but you see you see the you see the glow you see the glow okay that's all we want so just go ahead and blend that down and then i'm going to put a little bit right there on the tip of my nose and blend that and then take a little uh i always use like a little bit of a fan brush and i'm kind of just lightly dust a little bit right there on top of where my blush is i am going to go ahead and put my lashes on put a little lipstick on spray my face hold on so spray my face i'm going to go ahead and put my lashes on put a nude lip on and then we'll go ahead and close this out and see how everything turned out on this updated everyday makeup look makeup look i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as i did filming it had i not been running my mouth and trying to do the tutorial i promise you this face is very easy to do very simple very quick it does not take long at all and you could be out the door in less than 20 minutes okay but i hope you enjoyed it again if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and also make sure that you are hitting that notification bell as well that way you can see when your girl is coming up with the videos on the channel, all right? But I got some running to do. I got to go pick my kids up from school. And so, yeah, I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Bye, love.